Now this is a quick review of the Philips Latego 5400 series. And as you can see, I've been using it now for a couple of months. Um, and I'll just go through some of the things I've noticed about it. And um, hopefully you find it quite interesting. So, let's turn it on. So when it turns on, it will heat up and then it will pass a little bit of water through to make sure the nozzles are clean. When you shut it off, it will then do the same thing again. It will pass a little bit of water through um, to make sure it's always clean inside. Now, on the menus, you have all these buttons for coffees and but there's also a more button on there now as you can see it's gonna there you go see that got a little bit of water out there um, to clean it and then the rinse in will be say select your drink so all these on the top are not um, digital screen images that there's this static images uh, th this is the actual screen part and these are all icons that are lit up from behind so you have all of these uh, choices so you've got um, espresso coffee americano cappuccino latte uh, cafe de la and more and when you press more you've got Let's see if we can focus in on here. There we go. So you've got creme, you've got cafe latte, milk froth, travel mug, espresso, um, longo, ristoretto, is that? Flat white, hot water. And then you've got um, the, the OK button and the back button there. You've also got settings. Uh, let's go through them quickly and it's got uh, like water hardness, standby time, brightness, land ridge, sound and feedback temperature, product counter, front illumination, support, factory settings, measurement units. You've got clean function, you've got the uh, profile function, so you can see you've got yellow, um, guest, blue, green, uh, pink I believe, you know, and uh, it's usually blue, blue is the, the standard one. Um, so when you pick an option you'll have three or four options inside so this one's um, amount of grounds, uh, amount of uh, coffee coming out so the water that passes through and comes out um, and then on like espresso you get the option of two two cups but if I go to cappuccino um, you'll see it's the same but the last option is the froth amount on there and so depending on what you um, get you'll have slightly different options so they're the three changes you can do the, the fourth change is to change the um, grinder at the top So that's, that's the fourth one, I, I haven't changed that and that's for um, like decaf ground, pre-ground coffee you can put in there. This top here doesn't warm up, it's just, just a plate. So uh, water comes out there, the coffee comes out there, you also connect the latte go to here, um, drainage point and if I pull this out you can see that the water goes in there, the grounds goes in there. You can see it knows when it's being pulled out. You've got the water in here, then you've got the aqua clean filter. You can see it says add water because it knows um, that's been taken out. And you've got the brew unit in there that when you clean it, you have to put that in. Take 
that out. Now let's put that all back. So the coffees are great from here and the there is a few different ways that this machine calculates things. So um, from the the draining of the um, or, or the, should I say the the water compartment that stores all the, the water that has a little floater there that tells you when it needs emptying. Now the actual water inside that's used has a sensor and the grounds from what I can tell is calculated by the machine by how much it, it thinks is in there. The reason for that is sometimes when I empty the water I also empty the grounds at the same time because it's logical to do that but the machine sometimes you'll have two coffees after that and it will say empty the grounds because it doesn't realize it's been emptied what means it's, it's probably making a calculation on on how that works it's also got the aqua clean you can see it's got the percent of how many drinks till it thinks it needs changing um, it, it also has some sensor on the beans so if the beans run out I'm guessing it's, it's probably a resistance sensor or something in there that it can tell that the, the, the grinder is not feeling any beans and, and, and needs emptying. Now the real um, selling point, uh, just uh, that, that goes up and down depending on your uh, size of your cup. And when you do the drinks and you press the, the options, you can change up and down, change the options. Um, and then when you press OK, it will save it to your um, profile. So if you drop the amount of grounds or the increase the water or whatever or, or the milk on the milk drink it then saves it to that profile and it always be the same so the good thing is if you've got a certain size glass you can measure it all in so it, it fits that glass and then it's saved to your profile with, with the glass you like using and, and the only if you press ok it doesn't make the drink happen you have to press the go button to do that and if you you can stop it as well so the real star, should they say, of, of, of the show is, is the Latte Go um, device. What's a container that you put milk in. Um, let me just get that out and I'll show you. So it's a container with milk in. That is, makes it very easy to clean so here it is so you can see it's got some milk in there and all it does is it connects in and sits down on that little water spout and how it works is there's a little I don't know if you can see this inside but there's a, there's a little tunnel and then a little circular um, compartment and what happens is it does steam on and hot water a little bit of hot water does come out and, and steam goes down steams it up the pressure pulls it up spins it round that um, round compartment and pulls it out causing the froth to happen now there's a couple of things with that the, the froth is usually uh, the bubbles is slightly more um, bigger than a, a normal frother but the real benefit is you just take this off once you've done with it and none of the actual machine has got any milk inside it so from a cleaning point of view you don't have to have the tube that you connect in and, and, and try and flush it out so that you don't have any you know essentially milk that could be going um, really bad inside the machine it's just this one unit that comes apart in three bits. So you've got the lid, you've got the, the see-through part and the dark part. And you can just wash that in the sink. Really easy to do. And once that's washed, or you can wash it in the dishwasher, 
you put it back on with, with the milk in and it's done so it's, it's, it's a very smart um, easy to use easy to clean system so I'm very happy with the coffee machine I strongly advise anyone that's looking to get a bean to cup to look at um, the uh, Philips range because they are a fair bit cheaper I mean this is about 600 it cost me was the top model of Philips one they do have ones that are less but although that sounds a fair amount especially to people that might buy buy pod machines if you look at some of the other companies you're looking at sometimes a thousand plus uh, and that's UK pounds thousand UK pounds plus so um, it is on the cheaper end the coffees are really good really easy to clean so I strongly advise uh, anyone looking for um, bean to cup to look at this range so I hope you found this interesting if you have any questions um, leave it in the comments below and I'll try and answer it and I'll see you in the next video